Hey everybody, <clears throat> Mr. Polymers here. I just received the, this is the 3D X6 quadcopter. So I'm actually looking at one of the motors and uh, looking at a few things. First of all, on this, I am going to uh, use, these are 6045 props. Now this is what came with it. And I'm, just, I'm quite amazed at how flimsy and little these are and it doesn't surprise me why a lot of people that have purchased this quad don't see a lot of lift or they have to run the motors at high rpms which results in not getting uh, much uh, run time off the battery but these are quite small and I think quite inadequate for lift so these are the 6040 and you can see how much bigger they are they are uh, 6045 excuse me so uh, six inches and again the 45 is the uh, is the uh, angle of attack on the uh, on the blade so obviously it's got a greater angle which means it's going to move more air of course when you do this these will actually if I get that motor back in there these will actually make contact here so what you need to do is I need to make a little uh, Oh, I think 2.5 millimeter. I'm going to actually use a block of wood, and I'll show you later. Block of wood to lift these motors up a little bit, and then that'll allow the blade. It'll allow the blade to clear again. Uh, that I'm going to have to play around with it. I did buy these. I believe these are eight millimeter. I purchased these from Banggood. They're longer screws than the, these are the motor screws here, but these are, uh, these are around, uh, if I can get this thing, about nine millimeters long. And the stock screws that hold that motor, oops, about 7.2 millimeters, so. Again, uh, I'm hoping these longer ones, which go underneath here, I'll allow me to place a little bit of a spacer and lift these motors up. So that's what I'm going to do. Again, I'm going to modify this with the props. I purchased the 1200 milliamp. This is the Y-Key S uh, battery, which I, I prefer. In fact, this battery actually works on my uh, this is the V262 this battery goes right in there it just sticks out a little bit and uh, I'm gonna see what kind of run time I think this is a far better battery than the stock this is the stock battery it came with it it's a thousand milliamp 20 C battery here are the landing skids uh, what else uh, again I did check this battery and it does go into that compartment uh, so we're gonna go ahead and modify the blades uh, also, I have two, uh, these are five millimeter LEDs. I'm going to place these in here to the front of the quad. This quad only comes with two indicating LEDs to the back. These indicate, I think, GPS lock, uh, low battery. Uh, there's a number of functions these have, but uh, I always like to have as many lights as, as possible on a quad. So I'm going to go ahead and install these, and they just fit, these 5 millimeters fit right in there perfectly. Of course, they'll be this way, poking down, and I just have to feed these wires into a uh, uh, 5 to 7 volt uh, hotspot on this uh, board. I'll have to figure that out. So anyway, <clears throat> I ordered, <clears throat> excuse me, I ordered this on... December 27th. It is currently January 27th, so it took me a month to get this, and that's with expedited shipping. Uh, also, it came with the quadcopter. Uh, it uh, looks like a fairly nice uh, <clears throat> instruction manual, but again, I haven't looked at it. I just received this quad about 20 minutes ago, so uh, my point, it, I guess my objective here is just to kind of show you what it looks like when you get it, the mods I'm going to do, uh, and we'll go from there. Also, this is, I uh, just want to make a note on any of you following me with my, this is the H8C, JJRC H8C. This is the uh, board that's no good, so I actually have this board on order with Banggood. 
that's probably going to be another uh, three weeks. They are replacing this for free, and Banggood is replacing one of my motors, although I've lost at least three motors, possibly four in this. So this is, uh, the H8C is to the sidelines right now, but I'm really focusing on this. Uh, I'm a little excited about this. I know it does have some issues, but these are, these are brush motors right here, folks. And, I, and when you have brush motors, you don't have to worry so much about them crapping out as you do on this and on my V262. So, uh, uh, lastly, here's the charger. It comes with the, uh, the Flying 3DX6. I never use these. I, I suggest all of you purchase the, this is called a uh, IMAX B6 balance charger. Uh, this is, has uh, a rating up to 5 amps, so I can, I can actually charge multiple batteries. For example, this battery at 1,000 milliamps, I can charge five of these at one time. And that, this is called a parallel board here. So as you see, I have various hookups, so I can, I can charge multiple batteries at one time. This will also balance charge them with the balance plug of the uh, LiPo. Just much better than, than this stuff. I don't use this. This is junk. These are not overly expensive, so if you're going to get into the hobby, spend a few bucks to get this, get the balance charger. You, 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 it just makes life so much better. And again, you can, I can, uh, I can charge anything up to my large brick. This is my 5,000 milliamp 11.1 volt uh, battery for the Cherson CX20. Uh, so this actually will charge one of these because again, it's 5,000 milliamps which is 5 amps this is a 5 amp charger so uh, again I this is uh, will we'll charge anything from the little JXD 392 battery which are in there they're pretty small up to this so again well worth the money getting this and just kind of scrap this or keep it aside so um, I'll catch you guys in a little bit I'm gonna be doing some work and uh, I'll hopefully on this video get some flight video of this but the last thing I need to do after I do uh, my modifications is uh, is uh, calibrate the uh, the, the um, magnetometer or the compass. It's very important to, to calibrate the compass on this because there are issues of this flying away from folks not calibrating it. So anyway, we'll catch you guys in a little bit.